Yeah, there's some high fire danger across California, but we at least don't have the wind component of it. It's just really hot, very dry out there. And a big part of the reason for that is that offshore breeze we've had every morning. It just pushes the marine layer out. And then it also doesn't allow us to have as much of that cooling ocean effect throughout the morning. So then by 11 a.m., some of our cities are already in the 80s. Now looking at the winds as we get into the afternoon, see how it's going offshore right now? It does look like as we get later in the day, it does turn a bit more onshore for the Monterey Peninsula. So that will limit their heating around 1 to 4 p.m., but it's not that strong of a wind. So we're, we're still going to be about 15 degrees above average on the coast. Some of our inland cities, 20 degrees above average. What that means is another day of some triple digits out there and then heat alerts. We have the heat advisory for the coast. It's the mountains and valleys that I'm mainly thinking about in terms of heat though because they have the excessive heat warning and that did get extended through Thursday. Now just looking at the two different trends that we have going on here. This one's for the coast. See how there actually is some decent cooling on the coast over the next few days. The onshore winds start to pick up a bit more, potentially the return of the marine layer later this week. It's the inland areas where there's still the potential for some triple digits as late as Saturday. And we're not really back to normal until the middle of next week. So it looks like the heat's going to continue. The silver lining perhaps is that we're at least back into the double digits in some parts of the Santa Cruz Mountains. Still triple digits though for Hollister, San Juan Batista, Coralitos, Soledad, all the way down to King City. And then Monterey Peninsula, as I mentioned, will have a little bit more of the onshore breeze this afternoon, which will provide some cooling later in the day. But forecast highs, still quite warm out there, 88 for Seaside. Seaside's been one of the warmer coastal cities over the last couple of days. And then eight day forecast for the inland areas, widespread sunshine, see how there is some cooling, just not enough to really get comfortable until next week. Now let's check the traffic with Jacqueline.